Geno have brought their new Geno Yacht 60 to the show in not just the one format but in two side by side and it's a good chance here to see the difference between going for the spray hood option the bimini spray hood arch and fixed bimini, bimini option like this for those that don't enjoy being baked by the sun so much however it does have this roof that slides all the way back to open up the cockpit as well so you'll see the difference next door but yeah you have the aesthetic of the arch itself but this rigid structure surrounding the cockpit and you do lose a little bit of height as you step up onto the bridge deck to go in the companion way just leave standing headroom in there but otherwise I think a really nice option to take because without it as you can see here still the huge cockpit but a lot more exposed to the sun large tender garage there going between the twin rudders plenty of length in there easy step up onto the cockpit area and then you have the option here if you're exterior galley essentially which at the push of a button down here will lower down below the seating area it is going down but I, I won't do the whole thing so there's the slight bridge deck going up as you lose headroom under the spray hood arch but then down through a wide and shallow descent into the raised saloon interior format and I think it yeah modern appealing works well so you still got the nav station plenty of space in a very beamy saloon and this one has a three cabin option and the uh, having the galley forward there helps create all this space carpet's another one seeing a lot of at this can boat show so yeah double cabin aft here plenty of beam in here plenty of space and light I think though um, might be lacking in wardrobe space but I'll have to have a look at the specs for that so ensuite out shower heads option quite compact there layout space back here is quite compressed so this has the day heads access or from this kids cabin back here good fun for kids being back in there but again it's a little bit tight tight on space getting in here telescopic saloon table and then moving forward you have this a thwartships galley the refrigeration plenty of storage space to starboard and a good u-shaped format here to port sinks could be larger as could the oven but otherwise yeah the actual layout works really well in here as well I really like having these a Ford cabin with the berth set aft and offset with your head out by the actual central bulkhead here less pitching than if you're up in a v-berth and yeah, lots of space here to starboard really this cabin does have the lion's share of space in terms of accommodation Same boat but without the bimini and arch but also with a very very different layout and look and feel inside so 
credit to Jenna here for bringing two very different looking brand new yachts to the show. Much, much lighter. And I, yeah, I don't think there's any part really that's same as the boat next door. So this is the first hull, number one of the Geno 60, and it's one that really shows the difference in the options and layouts you can have. Massive saloon. So the point of this yacht was to give a real apartment feel to it. So about as big a saloon as you're going to get on a 60. But there's also, you know, quite a lot of different solutions on here for Geno. You have in this version the aft owner's cabin, but the option for an owner's cabin forward, as we'll see on the other on the other version. But with this one, well, with both, you'll have, which is pretty different for Geno, to have a forward galley layout. And it's a format I think works really well. Um, because as well as having this big saloon raised, as you see a couple of steps up to each side, so you get all your tanks, batteries, gen set, etc. under this floor, keeping all the weight central. It's a useful galley format because you get the full beam of the boat, so sort of cooking area to port. And you'll notice as well, the appliances are hidden as you come, just moving back again. You don't really see that. Apart from that optional fridge up there, that can be countertop area to starboard and you still get three drawer fridges. There's one over here as well, uh, as standard. What you do lose, obviously, is countertop space, but you still have some over the oven uh, and some here. And this becomes a sort of bar drink serving area where you're at eye, le eye level height of those sitting in the saloon. And whilst we're sailing along gently like this, works works very well. Uh, but this is the, the bit I wanted to show you here. So twin forward cabins um, which in this mode each have their own heads and link into a family cabin forward these berths are quite clever it's a compact double but it can slide out or you could remove that um, you can remove that cushion there and the whole of this section slides inboard to make a single uh, the clever bit though is this, if I can do it whilst holding the camera, give it a go. Normally, when you see uh, a removable bulkhead option forward, that means you have to store, somehow store that bulkhead. Here, Jenna have come up with this solution, which means, I'll do it now while I'm not talking and do it, but, but within a minute or two, you can slide all these bulkheads away and make this big cabin. Let me see if I can do it. Can't do it one-handed. So then with those all stowed away in there, and that did only take a minute, it completely opens up this space. So in the other option, this could be a forward owner's cabin with the heads further forward there. But by having this, you have basically a master cabin forward if you want it or or the obviously aft but i mean if, what i'm saying is if an owner wants to be able to sleep up here um you know to get the ventilation when the anchor or be off the off the uh dock when it's turn two then you have a big cabin open cabin space sort of family friendly as well so particularly in this one um it links through to uh, a kids cabin I guess in here so joined through the heads and this could be sealed here it could be a skipper's cabin or a sail locker but in this guise it works well if you know as a family cabin you've got a head in this side and a head and shower to starboard a lot of beam a lot of space a lot of light I don't know how long the carpet stay this clean or the leather trim, but it certainly feels nice underfoot. You have a huge hanging locker in here. Well, hanging locker. And then you're into two steps down. Stowage in general, by the way, looks really good throughout. 
step down into this aft master cabin. So that bridge deck in a companionway, buying all that headroom to walk through this. And it's an unusual layout, but works quite well because you still have this massive berth and it's offset here on the starboard side. The reason for that is because it, there is still that huge tender, tender garage, basically, which is offset to port. So it's still big enough for a three meter rib um, with a folding console, 25 horse outboard. Uh, clever design, really. And then, you know, this massive aft owner's mask cabin. I mean, it does work very well. I mean, consider there's still uh, another meter at least behind that bulkhead. Then the tender garage, and then you walk under here and you have a good size head and shower compartment in here. And that's conventional engine access under the companionway steps with a rear panel as well, just to so it's just the, the Yamaha engine in there because say the gen set and tanks, batteries, etc., below the saloon sole. So plenty of storage solutions throughout the boat. This one without the chart table just has the instruments hidden behind a panel there. And optional washing sheet washer dryer underneath. Andrew Winch interior design. Smart and different. So keeping this walk around deck style that Briand and Genoa have done now for some years, really smart solution. Very, very easy to move around the boat. This particular one we're on has a performance rig, so it's still an alloy mast, but it's a meter and a half taller and upgraded answered on sails on it so this one has a sort of conventional bridle setup with german sheeting led back by the forward winches each side um, still get a good spray hood i mean that's above standing headroom there and this is without the spray hood arch version other options on this one include the overlapping genoa sheeted to this these rails with the adjustable cars on them inboard. And this one has stay sail as well on a self tacking system. So easy to move up through the gears. Um, this will have the Code Zero set up, we haven't been flying it yet. A nice big flash four deck. And then you can see the volume here in the bows with the bowsprit and anchor roller set up on there as well and the chain lock are just between two furlers. So a fairly tried and tested setup these days to have the two powered winches within reach of the helms and all of the tail lines going in this locker below this seat. So the, these parts remove each side um, so you've just got to be methodical with your, with your line tails, stow them away nicely, but this works and so you can either control the winches from the, the buttons by them or from the helm itself. And this one has reversible option on that, on that forward winch as well. And then you see moving aft here, really easy access around the decks, huge aft deck. This one has the open transom option, but there is a bench seat version which goes all the way across here with a grill inside it. The other thing to point out is that your deck storage really is aft here in the dinghy garage itself. You put your fenders in line, it's got the dive for aft lock of this side with room for lines in it, and the dinghy garage there for the fenders as well. Okay, okay for me. <laughs> 